2023 cornerback class is flush with tremendous prospects, and sitting overshadowed just beyond the peak is Iowa State's TJ Tampa. Tampa brings a great deal of brains and brawn, but just where does he land in this crowded corner class? Find out on this two-minute drill. TJ Tampa is a highly intelligent prospect who spent most of his time playing the boundary but showed the versatility to move inside when called on. He has above average length and tracks the ball in flight with ease, making receivers' lives at the catch point difficult. Tampa is a tenacious player with a good handle on his own physicality, eager to jam receivers and come downhill to lay huge hits thanks to his terrific closing speed. His back pedal is smooth and it's rare for him to open his hips up and break early. Tampa has excellent route recognition and great anticipation mid-route. It's very hard for receivers to disengage from him once he's in phase. In zone, Tampa plays patiently, understanding that controlling the space around him is his immediate goal. Tampa also has the requisite skill set to be a strong special teamer. Tampa does still have some minor things he could clean up in his game. He can sometimes overstep in his backpedal, creating too much cushion for a receiver to work with. When moving downhill to tackle, Tampa has a tendency to go for the big hit instead of the wrap-up. When playing from the boundary, he can also be a bit lax with his run defense angles, allowing opportunities for breakaway plays. However, the biggest thing holding Tampa back is his fluidity. There is some stiffness in his hips that can limit his change of direction, so recovering when he's beaten can be an issue and combined with a good but not great first step, it's unlikely he'll be of much use as a blitzer. While Tampa has good play recognition, he wasn't terribly aggressive in ball hawking and is more concerned with shutting receivers down than creating turnovers. My comparison for TJ Tampa is Charvarius Ward. Ward's small school pedigree and limited agility led to his being underdrafted, but on tape, he showed great instincts and physicality, breaking up a number of passes and developing into a strong tackler. Tampa is also much further along than Ward was in his technique, so it's more likely he'll be a starter from day one. Tampa is scheme versatile, but I think he would be at his best on a team with a strong defensive line that prefers physical corner play. While athletic testing is still ahead of us, right now I imagine Tampa will be selected in the second round of the NFL draft with the depth of quality cornerback talent possibly pushing him to the third. And that's the two-minute drill.